Can LED light therapy help the brain and traumatic brain injuries? Sounds way out there, doesn't it? Like, should just we just get light? a light bulb? Well, it has some of the right frequencies, yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have good treatment for people with these brain injuries, and now new research shows that light can do a lot for their recovery. And there are other natural therapies, of course, that can work along with the light that can also be healing. We've come a long way, actually, Vicki. You know, the traumatic brain injuries have really been a problem. Neurosurgery has been basically what we do for the acute injuries. For the chronic ones, it's been tough. Yeah, and this should be helpful for our war heroes mm -hmm. and people injured in auto accidents and sport injuries and, and others with brain injuries, as well as helping people with depression and strokes and dementia and maybe even autism. Yeah, well, it's a big breakthrough. I've been using infrared light and other lights for about 15 years now. In and my those are also practice. referred to as LED? LEDs are different than lasers. Really, they're contrasted. Although LEDs are called cold lasers, I guess because it sounds a little sexier. I mean, people like the idea of saying, I use a laser, and my or my doctor uses a laser on me. And all it means is it's coherent light as opposed to light that's not coherent. So it's not like it's a Whatever a that huge, means. Yeah, it's we don't need to get into it because it doesn't matter. But there are different frequencies of light that do different things. And there's no chemical reaction in the body that doesn't occur without absorbing and emitting light at the same time. So we're getting into, bio, getting into biophysics here as a way of managing how our uh, health is and to restore it. Well, doesn't the light help the blood flow in the brain and also help to repair the neurons yeah. in the brain? Yeah, there were some studies done in Boston at the VA hospital uh, using infrared and red LEDs for about 30 minutes through a helmet and a nasal diode. And what they found was is that there was an increase in blood flow that was proven on MRIs. So it was really important information that showed that there's a clear change in what happens in the physiology of the brain. It also displaced, when you shine red and infrared light uh, on tissues, it displaces nitric oxide. And that may not seem like much to you, but there's a competition between nitric oxide and oxygen in the mitochondria, which is the energy-producing part of the cell, to, uh, to bind onto an enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase. And when you have an abundance of oxygen binding because the infrared light is changing the way that receptor site works, you can deliver more oxygen to the brain, which is the limiting factor a lot of the time in determining how the brain will function. So it's really important to deliver oxygen, produce more energy, more ATP, which is energy, energy currency of the, body, of the body, heal the tissues faster, and promote a recovery. So it's really, it's a common sense thing. I've, I've actually been using it for years. Well, they also found that it helps with memory <coughs> and decision making. And, uh -huh. uh, and what's... verbal learning. You sleep better. Your PTSD symptoms get better. So there's, there's a lot to it. And then there's the whole idea of, do you stop there or do you really add other modalities to it? Well, things like acupuncture would be helpful. Huh? Absolutely. Neurofeedback is another one that can really do some fascinating things to brains that have been scrambled by almost anything. So we recommend that uh, regularly. And, and then physical therapy and, and occupational therapy. Yeah, important. Nutrition is now getting very important. As, uh, learning about how nitric oxide works in the body is a little bit complicated, but if we use the right nutrition and we use light to stimulate uh, that and to use the right antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents, it really helps uh, improve nutrition in the brain and other tissues so that it'll work more uh, effectively. Well, what also about the pulsating electromagnetic field uh, generator? Another thing, this is kind of new in medicine, probably the last 10 years or so, and it does a lot to work synergistically with these other approaches, particularly with light. And I use that in my practice on a regular basis. So there's hope for people that have had brain injuries. There's more hope than there has been in the past. You, you don't want to get your brain scrambled, that's for sure. But if you do and you want to get a better recovery, using integrative approaches that use light, pulse electromagnetic fields, acupuncture, nutrition, etc., you're going to get your best results. And the LED light. Absolutely. <laughs>